Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be going over Elite Code Problem 1343, a number of subarrays of size k and average greater than or equal to threshold. So I'm actually going to be going over the intuition behind a solution that I, I found on Leak Code. Uh, this is a really good one. This is actually my favorite one, and I honestly can't do better than this. So, And I love how it's short. Everything is like all in one line. So I'm just going to be going over the intuition behind it. So we're going to need a few things here. We know that we're going to need some res, and this is the count of subarrays of size k. Uh, I actually want to explain what they're even talking about, because this might not make sense to some people. So we're given some array, and we have to find all the subarrays of size k. So this is one here. Uh, if we shift it over one, uh, this is another one, and so forth and so forth. So basically all the windows in this array of size k. And we want to uh, compute the averages that are greater than or equal to some threshold, which they give. So intuitively, you might think to walk through this, do like a sliding window, calculate the average of the current window, see if it's greater than the threshold. And that actually works, right? Uh, but you could do like one loop and an inner for loop, but you actually don't have to calculate the average every single time because we can derive our th threshold uh, just from the sum. So if you recall, an average is just sum divided by some count, and that's an average. Uh, and we actually have everything we need, right? Uh, we'll be keeping a running sum, and the count's always going to be k. It's fixed, right? Because it's subarrays of size k. So sum divided by k is equal to average, which is actually just our threshold, which we have. So if we actually multiply k to both sides, uh, it would be sum equals threshold times k. And this is like our target, because look, greater than or equal to threshold. So then this becomes uh, like that. So this is all we're looking for. At any given moment, if we have a sum that's greater than or equal to threshold times k, we increment res. It's that simple. So let's actually make a new one called like a target or something. And let's have this be a uh, threshold times k. Very simple. The next thing we want to do is walk through this array, right? So let's go for an i is less than uh, r dot length and i plus plus. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to add the current element to the current running sum, which I don't have. So let me create that here. So let's do that. Sum plus equals RI. Very simple. Uh, we're just uh, keeping track of the current sum. And what you would want to do next normally, but I'm going to explain why we can't do this yet, uh, is we have this array here, right? And say we're like on this sliding window here. So we're at this point and we're at this sliding window. So this is a new sliding window, and we want to, since we've added the sum of this new value here, we want to take off the value of the element that fell out of this sliding window, which would be this 2 here. So we have to do that minus equals i minus k, which is basically the window uh, that fell off, or the element that fell out of the window. But we can't do that yet because we might get out of bounds, and we might not even be at this uh, window size yet. So all we're going to do is if i is less than k minus 1, we're just going to continue to the next step in the array. Uh, we do this after the addition because we do want to keep track of that sum as well. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is exactly what I talked about, right? Uh, we want to keep track or we want to pull out the element that fell out of this window. So if i is greater than k minus 1, uh, we go sum minus equals array i minus k. And the reason why this works, and we do need this bound check, is again, I hate to keep doing this, but if we take this array here and say we're on this sliding window, uh, so we'd actually be on index three here, uh, and i minus k would be three minus three, k is three, three minus three would actually take off this element. And we just do this if statement because we might get out of bounds. Last thing what we need to do is what are we even doing? Average greater than or equal to threshold. So if sum is greater than or equal to target, uh, res plus plus. And that's all we need. Uh, we can go ahead and return res here. And let's run this. And looks like it's pretty good. Let's submit this. And then we can talk about time and space. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, it could be better. But anyways, let's talk about time and space. Uh, time is just simply on, because we're just walking through the array and doing some like if statements and stuff. Uh, nothing really special about that. Uh, space is actually O1. It's constant because we're not using any extra space. We just have some variables. It's constant space, right? And yeah, that's it. I uh, hope this made sense and made a funky problem seem a little bit easier. Uh, thank you for watching.